in prayer this morning. You will see on your program special prayer for candidates. Now, just for clarification's sake, that does not refer specifically to what happened in South Carolina yesterday or Super Tuesday, although it's also always good to pray for our elected officials and those running for public office. When we speak of candidates, we're speaking primarily of those who've been called by the Lord to serve in the Salvation Army as officers. Um, in past years, we've had as many as um, 50 cadets in our training school, training to be ministers of the Salvation Army, and right now um, the territory is struggling with, struggling with half of that. And so we've asked to have special prayer this morning around this territory, around the southeastern United States, to pray for people who, uh, to be called by God to serve as officers in this Salvation Army. And so we'll spend a few moments today in praying for the Lord to touch people's hearts to serve in this way. As we're doing so, I want to also let you know that uh, we announced last week that Major Cheryl Miller's sister had a fall. Well, she was promoted to glory last night about 9 o'clock. So be in prayer for Cheryl and, and uh, her three sons and, of course, for, um, for Gary as well as they work on, on that whole situation. Commissioner Baxendale has had a couple falls recently, and so we pray for him, and we are praying for him, Mrs. Baxendale, as well. And Please pray for strength for him and for her as she cares for him. Major Jim Hoskin had surgery this week, he's recovering from that, and it's very painful for him. And also, Melody Heath, uh, many of you know her, she thanks you for her prayers and asks that you continue praying for her and for her continued health. Let's bow for the Lord. Let's sing this chorus, um, He Leadeth Me, and then we'll sing it twice, and then we will go to the Lord in prayer this morning. that you raised up the Salvation Army and that's your will that the Army continue in ministry around this territory and around this world. But right now we are praying for candidates, for those to be touched by your Holy Spirit, to receive on them the call to service as officers, as ministers in this part of the church known as the Salvation Army. Our founder said one day many years ago that uh, he said, not called, no, not hearing the call is the issue. We pray that people will hear the call. We have a number of uh, our youth councils coming up the next month or two. We pray that this will be a time when, when young people are peaked um, and will, will receive that call from you to serve in this way. God, we also pray for Cheryl Miller's family and for her sister and her family. And, and uh, this happened so fast and we just pray for those close to her as they make the arrangements for uh, the celebration of life. It came uh, to an end too quickly here on earth, but we pray that, uh, that you will continue to bring, bring uh, peace to this family. They're thankful that uh, she was promoted to glory peacefully and that there was no pain involved in that. And so we do thank you for that. But in our humanness, we're also facing hurt and challenges in that way. We pray for Commissioner Baxendale and his health right now. We pray that you'll give him strength and that you'll bless his wife and those around him who care for him. Pray for Major Hoskin as he's recovering from surgery, that you would continue to heal his body from that. And, and also for Melody Heath, that she's dealing with uh, very serious health issues in her life. God, we pray for every word that's spoken this morning in this place. We pray for every song that's sung. And as we've come into your house this morning to bring our worship to you, may you receive the worship of our hearts today. And when we leave this place, we pray that you will have given us something to take with us to face this next week, a thought perhaps, or, or maybe a special touch of your Holy Spirit that we can take with us. 
Thank you for those who are participating and for those who are serving uh, in music forces around this state that you would normally with us today. We pray for them. Pray for those that are um, with uh, Commissioner John Busby as, as they are uh, celebrating the life of his wife, Elsie Busby, this weekend. And some from this core are there, uh, a part of that celebration. Father, we pray for her family and, and Mrs. Colonel Like, who uh, is in, here in the state uh, in Florida. We pray for her in, uh, in saying farewell to her mother. God, we also pray for our young people. Uh, the, their hearts are tender. And we pray for the mentors that, that work with them and help them and the friendships that are developed here. And as they, in a few moments, move on to their time of worship this morning, we pray that you will be there and, and you will guide them in their worship as they bring their hearts to you and their worship to you today. Bless us as we've come into your house. May we be faithful to your word. May we listen to what you have to say to us today. For it's in your holy and your precious name we pray. Amen.